know they're going to, oh, wow, amazing. How can it be? Ah, oh, oh, hello there, children. Welcome to another Sunday with Grace Kids. Well, I must say you're all looking very excited about something today. Well, you look a bit like I do when I'm just about to take some time off work. Oh, yes, of course. It's half term this week, isn't it? No wonder you all look so pleased and so relaxed. But no doubt you're also pleased to be here again on Sunday with all sorts of exciting things lined up for us to enjoy here on Grace Kids. Now, last week, if you can remember back that far, to be honest, at my age, I struggle to remember where I was five minutes ago. But you're all quite a bit younger than me and you have excellent remembering skills. So I'm sure you remember last week we learnt about the servant king, Jesus, who came not to be served, but to serve and give his life as a ransom for many. That's right. He came to lay down his life for us. Amazing. And lots of you coloured in pictures of Jesus teaching this to his disciples as he broke bread with them and ate together with them. Now, you also marvellously decorated a memory verse from Psalm 56, verse 4. Do you remember? It said, In God whose word I praise, in God I trust and am not afraid. I can't tell you as an, as an old man how often throughout my long life I've been helped by remembering that if I'm trusting in God, there is never any reason to be afraid. Seeing all your wonderful artwork and decoration of that verse has so encouraged me again this week to keep on trusting in God and his word. I hope it encourages you again now as we enjoy seeing them displayed together in the art gallery. Here we go. Everything about me, you know, when I wake and sleep, you know, everything I'm thinking, you know, all my secret deeds.
now, boys and girls. It may be the start of half term, but that doesn't mean we have to stop creating amazing pieces of art. Maybe you're hoping that you'll even have more time this coming week to draw and colour and make all sorts of things at home. Here this morning we have two more pictures for you to colour in. The first is a picture from today's story of Jesus being arrested. It's a bit worrying, I know, but don't worry because the story isn't over yet. And as Ben and Jose, my good friends, will tell us shortly, all this is actually a part of Jesus's incredible rescue plan. And we also today have the latest question and answer in our catechism project to colour in and decorate. Now, last week, lots of you sent in your own pictures celebrating some of the good things God has made in the world for us to enjoy. And we included them, didn't we, in the catechism video. Except my not-so-reliable assistant managed to miss out a very special picture from Esme. Esme, I don't know if you're watching this morning, but my assistant, he means well, but oh, things never quite go to plan when I'm not around to keep an eye on him. Esme, we are very sorry that we didn't pass on your picture to the catechism presenters this week. And like all the pictures we received, it was such a good one too. But it does give us a special opportunity. Here this morning, just before we get to work on colouring in the new question today, to be reminded again of some more of the amazing things God has made. So, here is Esme's picture. Here we have, as you can see, a cheerful giraffe, obviously enjoying being so tall. A majestic blackbird soaring through the sky. A bluebird protecting her young chicks in the nest. A rainbow with all of its radiant colours arranged in just the right order. And finally there is Esme herself. Esme herself down at the bottom, no doubt enjoying all of these wonderful things that God has made. Esme, thank you for reminding us with your picture that we have such a creative and generous God. And thank you again to everyone who also sent in their creation pictures last week for us to enjoy. Why don't we celebrate and glorify God? Do you remember that word? Glorify? Why don't we glorify God together now by singing this next song together? And then I shall leave you in the capable hands of Ben and Jose as they continue with the show. Here we go. Let's sing together. You're the God of Woe. You have no birthday. You have always been. You alone have no beginning and no middle and no end. You're always with me. You are everywhere In New Jersey or in Egypt Even outer space you're there Everything you are and do Is unbelievable but true You're the God of wow Amazing How could this be? You're the God of wow You're more than I could ever ever dream The more I learn about you Exclamation points abound to the God of Wow! You're never needy How could you be? You made everything on earth And in the sky and in the sea You're never lonely The Trinity Father, Son, and Holy Spirit Yet you're reaching out to me Inviting me to come to you Inconceivable but true You're the God of wow Amazing How could 
could this be? You're the god of woe. You're more than I could ever, ever dream. The more I learn about you, exclamation points are bound to the god of wow. Shout enough when I want to praise your name But don't know how I just say, wow, amazing How could this be? And I say, wow, you're more than I could ever, ever dream The God of wow, amazing How could this be? You're the God of wow, you're more than I could ever, ever dream Exclamation points are bound to the God of Wow! Designer of the dinosaurs Mapper of the ocean floor Of all the wilds below above The best of all Lovely Sunday roast after church this morning. I can just smell the potatoes in the oven already. The beautiful roast beef. And who could forget Miss Cindy's famous gravy? Oh yes, I'm salivating already. Wait, what's that note? Peel the carrots and parsnips before the service starts and make sure the broccoli is on the boil. Miss Cindy? What? Carrots? Bleh. Ugh, so gross. And parsnips? Ugh, I'm feeling ill already. And broccoli? Oh, Ben, please tell me this is some awful nightmare. I'm afraid not, Jose. Oh, well. We might as well get to it. We're going to be forced to eat them anyway. Yeah. Wait, I've got an idea. What about we play odds on? And if you win, I have to eat all your vegetables. And if I win, you have to eat all of mine. Uh, okay. Deal. But first, we have to get them prepared. Whilst we do that, why don't you guys check out today's story? The Jesus Storybook Bible Written by Sally Lloyd-Jones and illustrated by Jago A dark night in the garden The wind was picking up now, blowing clouds across the moon, shrouding the garden in darkness. Stay up with me? Jesus asked his friends. They said yes and waited under the olive trees, but they were tired and soon they fell asleep. Jesus walked ahead alone, into the dark. He needed to talk to his heavenly father. He knew it was time for him to die. They had planned it long ago, he and his father. Jesus was going to take the punishment for all the wrong things anybody had ever done, or ever would do. Father, Jesus cried, and he fell to the ground. Is there any other way to get your children back? to heal their hearts, to get rid of the poison. But Jesus knew there was no other way. All the poison of sin was going to have to go into his own heart. God was going to pour into Jesus' heart all the sadness and brokenness in people's hearts. He was going to pour into Jesus' body all the sickness in people's bodies. God was going to have to blame his son for everything that had gone wrong. It would crush Jesus. But there was something else, something even more horrible. When people ran away from God, they lost God. It was what happened when they ran away. Not being close to God was like a punishment. Jesus was going to take that punishment. And Jesus knew what that meant. He was going to lose his father. And that, Jesus knew, would break his heart in two. Violent sobs shook Jesus' whole body. Then Jesus was quiet, like a lamb. I trust you, Father, he said. Whatever you say, I will do. 
Suddenly, through the trees, a glitter of starlight flashed off steel. Into the quiet garden came whispers, muffled voices, clanking metal, and the sound of boots marching. Jesus stood up. He woke his friends. Now is the time, he said gently. Everything that was written about me, what God has been telling his people all through the long years, it's all coming true. And into the night, with burning torches and lanterns, with swords and clubs and armour, they came. An army of soldiers. Judas led them straight to Jesus so they could arrest him. Jesus was waiting for them. Peter leapt up, took a sword and tried to defend Jesus. He sliced off a guard's ear. Jesus immediately touched the guard and healed him. Peter, he said, this is not the way. Peter didn't realise that no army, no matter how big, could ever arrest Jesus. Not unless Jesus let them. Then Jesus, who had never done anything except love people, was arrested as if he were a criminal. Jesus' friends were afraid. So they ran away and hid in the dark shadows. The guards marched Jesus off and took him to the leaders. The leaders put Jesus on trial Are you the son of God, they asked. I am, Jesus said. Who do you think you are to call yourself God? You must die for calling yourself the son of God. Only the Romans were allowed to kill prisoners, so the leaders made a plan. We'll tell the Romans this man wants to be our king, and then they will crucify him. But it would be all right. It was God's plan. It was for this reason that I was born into the world, Jesus said. Wow, here we were worrying about who was going to eat our vegetables. Jesus offered to take a punishment that none of us could stand. He willingly gave himself up to be arrested like a criminal and then crucified, to take the punishment that was rightly owed to you and I, to be separated from God by our sins. Yeah. You might say Jesus took all our parsnips, broccoli and carrots and ate them himself, swallowing down the horrible taste of them so that none of us would have to bear it. Except, of course, our sin is far worse than any yucky vegetable. And nobody forced Jesus to do it either. It was why he came, to fulfil God's plan to rescue us from our sins. And what a great example Jesus is that we can trust God to. Jesus, even in his darkest moment, submitted wholly to his Father's plan realising his death was the very reason for his birth, to bring us back to God. How cool is that? Yeah, it is really super awesome. Goodbye, kids. Goodbye.